Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another spell for you guys. It is extremely late. I figured I would take you guys step by step as I'm currently working for a couple of clients with this particular spell. It is a conjure separation spell and what this does is basically what it says. It will separate a partnership uh, whether they're married or not. It doesn't matter. Uh, if you're dealing with third-party type of energies, this could be done for them as well. Uh, or this can also be done uh, to a person, uh, specifically someone that is meddling in your life or making it more difficult. So anyways, without further ado, let's get to witching. Hello, my lovelies. Well, here we are doing the another spell for you guys. Like I had mentioned, um, this spell is particularly for those that are trying to get rid of a third-party energy. Um, as an example, if your husband left you for another woman or if your wife left you for another, um, another man, uh, if you're in a relationship and they just up and left you for someone else, uh, this spell is for you. Now, this can also be done for those of you guys that, as an example, if you have a daughter, uh, that is dating a man that is particularly not good for them, that they're very bad news, that... You just need to get rid of them as soon as possible because they are greatly impacting uh, your life. They are uh, mistreating your daughter or your son, etc. This spell is for you. Now, it's very easy to do. <clears throat> this is a separation conjure. And um, although you may have some of the ingredients at home, I know a lot of you guys uh, prefer <clears throat> to do more simplistic spells. Uh, versus the elaborate ones, um, depending on how you feel more comfortable. This is a very easy spell to do. Uh, it is very effective. And again, putting your intention, your energy, and effort into what you're doing. Make sure to ground yourself. <clears throat> Once this is done, make sure to cleanse yourself and uh, cleanse your space before you're concluding the ritual. Okay? All right, let's get into it. So what you're going to need is very simple. You're going to need two strips of white paper, absolutely blank, no lines, a black pen or marker. You're going to need a tray or a plate that you are only going to use for chaotic spell work or just for this spell, and then you're going to get rid of it once the ritual is completed, okay? You're also going to be needing salt. It could be any type of salt. It doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> it has the same effect, whether it's the granulated one, the thick one, the sea salt, or the regular, it does not matter. Now, what you see here is the residue of the coffee. That's what we're going to be using. It cannot be um, <clears throat> new coffee. You know, it has to be uh, used, the, the, the one that's brewed uh, that same morning that you're about to do the spell work, okay? Um, so, as you guys know, Coffee is to create a lot of anxiety, to create a lot of tension, a lot of like uh, eagerness. Now, when we talk about chaotic spell work, what this does, it only amplifies the chaotic energy around. So as an example, this spell is for them to literally break up, to not want to like not be able to stand one another, um, almost creating this hatred between them, fighting like cats and dogs type of energy. It's very heavy energy. Now, with the coffee, what it's going to do, it's going to amplify it. It's going to strengthen it. It's going to empower it as well as it's going to agitate them easier, uh, much quicker. So, again, that's the reason why we're using the coffee. And finally, what you're going to be needing is you're going to be needing a black candle. Now, I am using this one as <clears throat> this one is uh, one of the ones that I use uh, that are uh, protected that are uh, ritualized consecrated for chaotic spell work but you are going to be needing a black candle okay doesn't have to be a seven day candle um, it could be a taper candle or it could be um, really any kind of candle you can use for this uh, but it does have to be black okay all right let's get into the spell work so let me move this a little bit to the side and what we're going to do is you're going to be putting <clears throat> your partner or uh, as an example, if you're doing this for your son and you're trying to uh, create some type of separation between them and their current girlfriend, then you would put your uh, son's information. You would put their first 
and last name with date of birth okay like this so you're going to put the first name last name and date of birth now on the second strip you're going to put the person's information the person to separate um, so as an example if you're doing this uh, to separate um, or if you're doing this because your wife left you for another person you're going to put your wife's information her first name last name date of birth and you're going to put the other person to separate uh, so as an example if you guys don't have their first or last name or even date of birth all you really need to do is put third party okay or lover like this all right of course keep in mind if <clears throat> you do have their first name last name and date of birth you would put that information on this strip it is only going to render you quicker much quicker results so again keep that in mind can you do this if you don't have their information absolutely all you would have to write is third party or lover and that's going to uh, create that tension that you know that um animosity between them now if you're doing this like i mentioned for a son or a daughter that you're trying to create some type of separation between their partners, um, then you would put their first name, last name, and date of birth. If you don't have their date of birth, you would need their first name and last name, okay? Um, if you happen to not know what their last name is, uh, then you can then put, uh, uh, you know, daughter's boyfriend, or just put boyfriend. That's all you would have to put, all right? So long as they're not uh, dating multiple people. Uh, if they are, then yeah, you would need their first, uh, their full information. All right. I hope that makes sense. Okay. So let me move this to the side really quick. I'm going to put it here for now. So what we're going to do is you're going to put the partner's information or, um, sorry, you're going to put the partner's information or the person that you're doing this for. I'm not sure if you guys can see kind of the camera is kind of weird I don't know why it's not coming up on my screen but um, anyways you're gonna be doing this um, the first strip that's gonna go on the plate is gonna be uh, the person you're doing this for so this would be your husband this would be your wife this would be your son your daughter uh, whoever you're doing this for and you're going to place it in a crop, in a, not in a cross position, but the way you see it here on the plate. I hope you can see it. All right. Then you're going to put the third party or the person that you want to separate them from like a cross. Okay. So it's going to be like this. It's going to be in a cross position. Okay. And they're crossing the person that you're doing this for. So like that. All right, so I'm going to put this, I'm going to pull this a bit behind so I can do my clients real quick. <clears throat> and I'm going to try to not show it um, to keep their private information. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to keep it like this, right? Um, so the the person that is going to go from uh from left to right is going to be the person you're doing this for and the person that is going to go uh, from up to down would be the person that you're doing that you want to separate them from okay i hope that makes sense <coughs> all right once you have that what we're going to do is we're going to integrate the coffee into this is really hard because I'm trying to cover my clients information all right so I'm going to all righty give me one second this is gonna get this is gonna get messy you guys Okay. 
Alrighty, so it's going to look something like this. Let me pull this back real quick. Okay. <clears throat> so it's going to look like this. And like I said, what we have here is we have the, as an example, if I'm doing this for, um, you know, for my husband, uh, then it would be their first, last name, date of birth, and it's going to go like this. All right? <clears throat> then the person that I'm trying to separate, the third party, is going to go like that on the plate. Once you have it like once you have it like that, then you're going to add the coffee. Okay. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to add the salt. Give me one second. <clears throat> now what you could do to empower this is you can uh, use the black candle and instead of going in the clockwise position, you're going to go counterclockwise. Okay. So give me one second while I do this. So what I'm doing here is I'm going counterclockwise to banish. Um, you're not banishing the partner. You're banishing the person that you're trying to separate. Once you do that, then you have the option of spilling some candle wax on the coffee. I'm going to put this to the side. By sealing the wax, or sorry, by putting the wax, what you're doing is you're sealing their demise. You're sealing their separation. It is done, all right? Make sure when you're doing this, you're putting all your force and your energy, your focus into what you're doing. All the anger, all the animosity. As an example, if you're doing this for your daughter and that person is no good for them, they are, you know, they're violent, they mess with them, They've created all this kind of cra crazy chaos in your life. Put that energy into this. If you're doing this for the third party, they're trying to end your relationship and separate you from what is yours, what is rightfully yours, which is your boyfriend, your husband, your girlfriend, your wife. So really put that energy into it, all right? Once you do this, what we're going to do now is we're going to add the salt. Now, salt is used for a lot of good uses, cleansings, <clears throat> cleansings, protection, um, but it is also used for salamientos. It's also used for uh, sending bad juju to people. It's also used for um, pretty much rotting the relationship, and that's exactly what we're doing. So with the salt, you're going to notice within the next couple of days, the salt's going to turn black. Uh, the blacker, the quicker it turns, the better. That's just letting you know that there are already arguments, there are already fights. Um, so once you're done with this, what you're going to do is you're going to leave the black candle next to the work. You're going to leave it um, completely burned out. Now, once the candle is completely burned out, what you're going to do is you're going to pick up the plate or tray that you did the work and you're going to put it away. You have to put it away in a dark place. It cannot be by the light. Uh, so ideally, if you have an altar, that's where you would keep it. If you don't have an altar, then ideally you would have to place this somewhere where you know no one's going to get into it. No one's going to touch it um, and no light is going to hit it. So. Uh, as an example, you could put this at the top, you know, in the top part of the closet where nobody really looks unless you're reaching up for something um, and it's going to keep it concealed. Now, you may actually see results or the separation happen uh, within seven days. For some, it could be sooner than that. For others, it may take a little bit longer. Now, the ultimate goal here is between 10 to 15 days, there should be a separation. Um, so again, you have to keep this in place for 10 to 15 days. Once you hear, once you find out, once you know that there's a separation, what you're going to do is you're going to put this in a black bag and uh, <clears throat> black trash bag, and you're going to toss it out away from your home. 
do not, and I repeat, do not throw this in your garbage can or outside, nearby your house. No, you cannot do that. You have to throw this out away from your home. So ideally go to the park, go to a dumpster where it's stinky, throw that shit in there and just get rid of it. Walk away, don't look back, and it's done. You will see within the coming days um, <clears throat> that that relationship is completely done. Um, a lot of the time, especially for third parties, a lot of the times when we do this particular spell, um, sometimes it's not even necessary to do love spells because they will, uh, they will find themselves coming back to you once this relationship is ended. And the reason for that is because the third party, especially for those that are married or been in a long-term committed relationship, um, because that was the influence, that was the person that was influencing them and keeping them from uh, being or, or focusing or, you know, working on your relationship, okay? All right, so like I said, 10 to 15 days, this should be placed away in a dark place where no light hits it. Um, once you find out that there's been a separation or that they're already riffing and it's getting to the point where you know for a fact that there's going to be a separation, put this in a black trash bag and toss it away from your home. Don't look back, okay? So as a recap, keep the black candle with this work. Once the black candle is completely done, then you can pick up the tray or the plate wherever you're working at and put it away for 10 to 15 days. If it happens before that, then you will automatically just have to dispose of it, like I said, away from your home, okay? It's very simple, you guys, very easy to do, and uh, the results are great. You will see them. Uh, you will be thankful you did this. And again, keep in mind, um, <clears throat> keep in mind not to do this, uh, you know, just out of spite or anything like that. This is mostly done um, when, you know, when you're trying to salvage a marriage, salvage a relationship, or salvage the sanity and, uh, you know, whatever hurt your son or daughter has gone through. Um, unfortunately, sometimes we have to deal with people like that. So we have to do what we have to do to protect our loved ones. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.